Hola mi gente, bienvenidos a mi canal. Hola mi gente, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family. My name is Amy. Today I have another story time for you guys. This story time is so embarrassing. Every time I think about this, I just want to punch my sister in the face because it was all her fault. I've had some really embarrassing moments in my life, but this one I want to say is like up there, like top three. I was mortified when it happened and I just didn't understand you know, what was happening in the minds of all of the people that were involved. Even though I married one of them and I'm related to the other, I'm convinced they were both rooting for my demise. Now this story takes place two months after I turned 15 years old. So at the time I was dating my husband. Um, I believe we were only together for a few months and we were super smitten with one another. You know, we really liked each other. Low key, I was in love and I had only known this dude for like, three months but you know whatever we've all been there don't lie <laughs> so i was like head over heels for this boy okay now as you guys know from my previous videos i grew up in a very traditional old school hispanic household so that means that even though my boyfriend and i had been together for a few months we had actually never spent any time alone together other than seeing each other at school so we had never gone on a date, we had never been to each other's homes, like, ever. So I was thirsty to hang out with my husband. Now, my husband is black, white, and Puerto Rican, but I feel like for the most part, culture-wise, like, he was raised Americano. Now, if you're Hispanic, you definitely know that there are some major cultural differences between Americanos and Hispanics, okay? So my husband would always ask me to go places and do things and hang out with people, and I would always say no. Like, I wouldn't even ask my mom because I just assumed that she was gonna say no. So this part is a little unclear to me, but if I'm not mistaken, my husband had an acquaintance who thought that my sister was pretty, like he liked her. And my husband and I kind of set up a blind double date for that boy and my sister so that we could all go to the movies together. Because I knew that my mom would allow me to go to the movies with my boyfriend if my sister was there. So one way or another, I was able to convince my sister, I probably bribed her or something, but I was able to convince her to go with me on this double date. And surprisingly, my mom ended up agreeing and allowing us to go. Now fast forward to the day of like the actual incident. So the plan was that my entire family was gonna go celebrate my little cousin's birthday. Shout out to Nani if you're watching this. And then after the party was over, we were all gonna meet up at the movie theater and my husband's mom was gonna like take us back home. So I remember on this day, as I was getting ready for Nani's party, I had my sister help me pick out a fire outfit. But now when I think back on it, like what was I thinking that outfit was hideous? So I ended up putting on my favorite jeans that I purchased at Dots. If you guys know what Dots is, let me know in the comments. That was like my store. It's comparable to a Discovery if you're from Illinois. And they were really light wash jeans. So they weren't white, but they were like a really light like sky blue. And I thought I was killing it, okay? Now I'm just like, girl, you look like JoJo. Get out right now, stand up you and me. It's too late and I can't wait for you to be gone. But right before I left the house, I ended up getting my period, okay? And I had only had my period for about a year at the time because I got my period when I was 14. I got it pretty late compared to a lot of my other peers. So having a period was still pretty new to me and I would have accidents like pretty frequently, usually like when I was at home or like throughout the night. But yeah, I would have accidents. And I used pads at the time, okay? So I remember I hurry up and run back in the house and I put this like ginormous jumbo pad on. Um, I, you know, I put one in my little purse that I had and I was ready to roll. I'm ready to eat that delicious Chuck E. Cheese pizza and then go see my man after. So we get to my little cousin's birthday party and we're there for a couple hours and then it's time for my sister and I to go to the movie theater. So I did have a cell phone at the time and I remember as soon as my mom was like, okay, like, you know, the party's over, whatever, we're about to leave. I was calling my mans and I was just like, baby, be on your way because we're about to head over there. So as soon as Nani's party was over, I was by the door, okay? I was posted like JoJo, ready to see my man, okay? I was ready. So as I'm waiting by the door for like my family to come, I'm like, oh my God, I haven't changed my pad. So I'm like, hold on guys. And I run to the bathroom. So I change my pad and then my family and I get in our car and they drop us off at the theater. And we're out of there quick, you know, because we can't risk her changing her mind. So we get inside of this movie theater and it's pretty dead and we're also the only ones there like from our group. So as my sister is sitting on this bench, you know, waiting, we start talking about, okay, I have to give this dude a name. Um, He was like really fair. So we're gonna call him Blanquito. So we start talking about Blanquito, okay? And 
and my sister's asking me questions about him and I don't really know anything about him, okay? And my I don't even think that my husband knew him that well because like I said, he was an acquaintance. They weren't like good friends. So I knew nothing about him. I just wanted him to come so that my sister wouldn't feel like a third wheel and I could like hang out with my boyfriend. <laughs> So even though my sister didn't really know too much about him, she knew who he was. Now, one of the reasons why we both knew who he was is because a while back, his ex-girlfriend ended up coming to school and she had a huge period stain and everyone was talking about it and like laughing about it or whatever, which is so mean and stupid and immature, but that's what happened. And my sister brought that up. So when she brought that up, we kind of like giggled about it a little. We're like, dang, like that's so messed up. I feel bad for her, whatever. But we didn't really say much. Now, right when we finished our conversation, Blanquito walks in through the door. So once Blanquito walks in through the door, he immediately goes over to my sister and I, he greets us or whatever. And I kind of like give them their space and I walk away. So as Blanquito and Tanya start chopping it up in the back, I walk over to like the entrance doors and I'm waiting for my man because he can't come soon enough, okay? So I'm just walking back and forth or whatever, minding my own business, just trying to pass time, waiting for my man to come when I hear like a loud gasp and then I hear my sister loudly whisper. Now you're probably like, what the hell is a loud whisper? Let me tell you, okay? She was like, yeah, I'm half Puerto Rican and Ecuadorian and I like long walks on the beach and... <gasps> Amy! Amy! So I turn around and I'm like, what? And she freaking starts running over to me. So she's just like, so instead of her being a normal human being and pulling me off to the side, discreetly and quietly telling me that I had a huge period stain, she freaking runs over to me and sticks her damn lips inside of my ear. So I wasn't able to understand what she was saying. Let me show you what I mean, okay? I'm Tiddy Pictaria and this is me, okay? What? So I didn't understand anything that she said. The only thing that I understood was period stain. And since we had just finished talking about dude's ex-girlfriend who had a period stain, I thought that maybe she was talking about her. So I was like, oh my God, like, why are you even talking about that right now? And I like pushed her away. So instead of her pulling me back and telling me like, girl, you have a period stain. She was like, you don't care? And I'm like, no, I don't care. Like, I don't care about his past relationship. And she's looking at me confused. And she was like, are you sure you don't care? Like, she didn't even question why I said the relationship thing. And I was like, no, what the hell? Just go back with your date. Jeffrey's about to be here. So then she was like, okay. So at the time, I didn't know that this happened and that she said any of this. But after the incident, she told me, and I just wanted to punch her. So I guess she walks back over to Blanquito and Blanquito goes, what happened? Like, what's wrong? And she freaking tells Blanquito, my sister has a period stain, but she says she don't care. And I guess Blanquito was like, oh, shoot, she don't care? And my sister was like, I guess not. So her and Blanquito continue to talk and they completely ignore me and disregard the fact that I have a huge period stain. I'm sorry, but gardening hoes ain't loyal. That's all I got to say about that, okay? So I go back to the door and I'm thinking in my head like, I knew that my sister was socially awkward, but I never thought that she would stop talking to her date just to run over to make fun of dude's ex-girlfriend. Like, what a weirdo. <laughs> So my man finally walks in the door and you know he hugs me and I hug him and we give each other a little kiss or whatever and we all go over to the booth and buy our tickets for a movie now since my husband was like a little late we had missed the original show and basically had to get the eight o'clock show that finished I believe at 10 o'clock so we had like I want to say like one to two hours to spare so we decide to go to the mall now the mall was literally I want to say like a parking lot away from the theater so we all decided to walk over there. We walk inside of the mall and my boyfriend and I are holding hands and we go to like a bunch of stores. And my husband's brother worked at Best Buy at the time. So my husband was like, hey, do you want to go to Best Buy and meet my brother? And I was like, sure, why not? Bruh. So we walk all around the entire mall to get to Best Buy. I walk into Best Buy. And to be honest, I didn't really see anybody like staring at me funny or talking about me or anything. So I was a thousand percent clueless. And I believe for the most part, I was walking next to my husband. But still to this day, I like don't understand why my mans wasn't looking at my butt. 
So we walk into Best Buy, we find my brother-in-law and we have like a short interaction. I say hi to him, he says hi to me, but like he's working. So I think he had to like go attend a customer or something. And we end up saying bye and we walk out. So then we keep walking around the mall and we end up finding Blanquito and Titty Pick Tanya. So I turn around and I see Titty Pick Tanya like laughing at me. And again, I was completely clueless and had no idea that I had a period stain. So I thought that she was just like making fun of me because like I had a boyfriend and I was like on my first date. So we make our way to the shoe store, right? And I had like 150 bucks on me because I had just had my quinceanera um, two months prior. So I remember that we walked into that shoe store and I grabbed a pair of Air Forces and I was like, I really like these, like I think I'm about to get them. So me not really knowing about shoes, because I grew up pretty humble, um, I had never owned like a pair of like brand name shoes other than like Nikes that I probably got at Value City. I had never owned like a pair of Jordans and I sure as heck had never had a pair of Air Force Ones. And that was the style back in the day, so I really wanted a pair. So I remember I saw these all white ones with the Velcro strap, they were high tops. And I ended up buying them and I thought I was so cool. Like I was so excited to be wearing those the following Monday. <laughs> so I'm happy. I'm good. I'm chilling because I'm having a great day, okay? I got to eat some bomb Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Um, I'm spending time with my mans. And I just bought my first pair of forces. Which by the way, they ended up being knockoffs and I wore them for a whole year and didn't know. <laughs> So once like 7.40ish rolls around because the movie was at 8, my husband and Blanquito are like, hey, we should head back to the theater so that we can get good seats or whatever. And we're like, okay. So we all start heading back. Now Blanquito and Tiri Tanya walk in front of us. So once we're like halfway through the parking lot, Tanya and Blanquito are like already inside the theater. And by now it's already nighttime, okay? So it's dark outside. But the parking lot was lit up by a bunch of like light posts. So as we're walking through the parking lot, this car like kind of slows up once it starts to approach us. And this freaking lady, she must have been like in her mid 40s, sticks her head out of her car window and goes, hey yo girl, you got a period sting. You might want to get that checked out. And then she rolls up her window and she keeps driving. And when she says that, like I immediately like covered my butt with my hands and clenched my butt cheeks together. I was like, please God, don't let it be true. Don't let it be true. But then I started feeling around my butt and I found it. I felt the little crusty blood stain spot. So then I look over at my husband and I'm like, why didn't you tell me that I had a period stain? Like how could you let me walk around with a period stain? And this dude is really gonna say, I didn't notice. I wasn't looking at your butt. And I'm just like, why were you looking at my butt? Are you not a teenage boy? Like, what the heck? So then he was like, I didn't see it. So then we kind of go back and forth for a little bit and he ends up giving me his jacket and you know, I power walked the rest of the way into the movie theater. And you know what I do? I freaking watch the movie. I go and sit down, I find a seat and I watch the movie because I'm 15 and I am disgusting, okay? Like, I don't know. I really, I really sat through that movie with a big ass period stain on my butt and my husband didn't say anything about it. We literally held hands and watched the damn movie. Like, ew! So after the movie's over, we all meet up in the lobby because Tanya and Blanquito had gotten inside of the movie theater earlier than us and they were sitting somewhere else. So after the movie, we all meet up and I immediately grab my sister and I'm just like, why did you not tell me that I had a bloody butt? And she was like, I tried to tell you. That's why I like pulled you to the side and I was telling you and then you like ignored me. And I was like, no, you were talking about his ex-girlfriend making fun of the fact that she had a period stain. You didn't tell me that I had a period stain. And she was like, no, I was telling you that you had a period stain. So then I was pissed off and I was basically like, you're a Florida beach, okay? I was so upset. So I was pissed off at her to be honest. And she ended up going home with Blanquito, even though I told her that she had to ride home with my husband and I because my mom would never let us go again because then she would think that we were like in different spots and not in the movie theater, you know? So she ended up going with him and then my husband's mom ended up picking us up. So once we're home, my sister and I start talking about it and my sister is like almost in tears laughing about the situation and I'm just like, Tanya, do you not understand that I met my future brother-in-law with a period stain on my butt? So she's cracking up on her bed and I'm standing in front of her mirror looking at my period stain. I basically had it like underneath like my butt cheek. So it was like, um, so it was basically like where my crotch was slash underneath my butt cheek. What had happened was that again, I had just gotten my period. I had only had it for about a year. So I was still like, you know, like having accidents and stuff. 
and basically when I put my pad on my panties were like too thin so the pad kind of like went to the side so it wasn't actually on my panty or like on my private area if that makes sense so yeah that's how I ended up getting the period stain and it was super embarrassing until this day my husband swears he never saw the period stain and I just don't believe him I just know that my husband is really shy and really awkward during uncomfortable situations so I think he saw the period stain and was too embarrassed to tell me and basically let me walk around an entire mall and meet his damn brother with a period stain but my brother-in-law never saw my period stain because like I said our encounter was like brief um, and then he went to help a customer, but I'm pretty sure all of his co-workers did. But, así es la vida. Um, we all have our embarrassing period stain stories. If you guys have one, share it with me in the comments. Um, I love reading your guys' comments. I love interacting with you guys. And I'm so appreciative of all of the cyber friends that I have made since I have started my channel. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on there. I talk to you guys all the time through DM. Also, don't forget to read the facts in my description. And yeah, that's the end of the story if you guys enjoyed it go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel and i will catch you next time bye Hey guys, so I thought I'd share some pictures of my husband and I throughout the years and the first picture was when we were 15 so enjoy As a matter of fact, it was the one who said I loved you first It was about eight years ago Don't act like you don't know We were sitting at home in mama's living room Cause we couldn't be alone See, mama knew I was something else. She knew how I felt. But when we were in school, that sure gave me an excuse.